right now I'm in the Lucas section of Comic-Con here with Julian. How's it going today? It's going great. We're doing well. Good, good. Now, I'm over here in the Indiana Jones section of the booth. You guys have the Blu-ray coming out. When's the, when's the release date? September 18th. That's right. We're here at Comic-Con to celebrate the release, and we really wanted to do something big for the fans. So we put together right behind you a snake pit. Almost 50 live snakes. That's crazy. Now, I heard it was the first time Comic-Con has a live pet, you know, here in I believe that's true. I believe it's the first time that live animals have been allowed on the, the show floor. So it's a big deal for us. Have you guys prepared for a contingency if it was to break? <laughs> well, we, we, yeah, we've, got, we've got some pretty strong glass there and we've got uh, two or three snake experts on hand who are keeping watch on them around the clock. Nice, nice. Now tell us a little bit more about the Blu-ray. Are there any new features behind the scenes that people can get? Yeah, it's, it's a great collection. It's the first time that all four movies are in high definition um, in one collection. It's a five disc set, so um, an extra disc over seven hours of bonus content for fans. It's um, interviews, featurettes, behind the scenes, and we're whipping up a few new features as well that I can't quite tell you about yet, but they'll, they'll reveal them over time. You gotta purchase it. <laughs> you gotta purchase it. Now, Star Wars was here last year. Um, are you guys expecting kind of the same response from the people? Absolutely, yeah. People seem very excited about it. Both uh, movie franchises, they're, they're two of the most iconic in movie history. So fans are really excited about it and, again, really excited for this great photo opportunity. Where else can you have your picture taken? Aside from the zoo, I guess, with, with live snakes. So, yeah. Are you going to get in the snake pit later? They won't let me. I would. I would, of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, cool. Even Indiana Jones never wanted to get in the snake pit, but he did it. He did it. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> All right, well, let's go check out the snake pit. All right, now I'm here with Timory, the snake expert here in the Indiana Jones section. So tell me a little bit about the snakes. I heard there was how many different kinds of snakes? We have 46 uh, live corn snakes in this exhibit today. Now, I asked Julian this earlier, is there a contingency plan for if the glass was to break? <laughs> Definitely I'm here, that's my job. <laughs> I can get those snakes faster than you can look at them. Now, with all these different types of snakes, how can they get along? Oh, well, they're corn snakes. So corn snakes are a great pet for people to have. So they're used to being used for educational purposes. And they're uh, uh, basically the average Joe uh, pet that you would get at a pet store as well. So they're awesome for education. And they, they're like two-year-olds. I love to say that um, because they wear themselves out. So they slither all around and then they rest for a little bit and then they're back in action again. So it's been really fun for this exhibit. Wow. Now, all these different colors of snakes, I mean, do they come in all colors? Absolutely. They do just come in all different types of colors. Interesting. Interesting. Now, with the lights, and are people allowed to get a certain distance, no flashes, or that doesn't really bother you? You know, the snakes have been great. Um, they love uh, being used for educational purposes, so they're really used to the Comic-Con traffic, so it's been awesome. Now, have you gotten into the pit yet? I did. You missed me this morning. There's a, a little trap door that's pretty small with lots and lots and lots of screws, of course, to keep it nice and secure. But um, I got in this morning and took care of every snake and checked them all out and made sure they had water and everybody was good. And I assume they don't bite? Uh, no, they don't. Not even the one around my neck? <laughs> Not even that one. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about being in the Indiana Jones get up, dressing up, and how, how excited were you that you were part of Comic Con? Oh, you have no idea. I mean, this is like a dream come true for me because I've uh, physically never been able to get inside Comic-Con, although I buy tickets for my kids um, every year. I've never been able to, as an adult, get a ticket. So when um, our company was approached to uh, work with Lucasfilms and bring animals to Comic-Con, I was hands down the person that was just jumping up and down, please pick me, please pick me, like a four-year-old kid. So I was really excited. So dressing up as Indy, being a part of Indy, um, and promoting the Blu-rays has been a really cool experience for me because I grew up watching all the Indiana Jones movies, especially with my grandpa, so it's been really awesome. And unlike Indiana Jones, it doesn't seem like you're afraid of snakes. Not at all, not at all, but I am very much like Dr. Jones when it comes to snakes that I don't know as far as people, you know, just going over to someone's home and check out my snake, no, I'm very much like Dr. Jones then, I'm like, no, that's okay. If it's one of ours and we, it's strictly uh, on a good feeding schedule and we take care of it and um, I am around that snake, I am perfect with it, but I'm still leery like everybody else, if it's a snake, I wouldn't know. 
All right, well, thanks a lot. A lot of people are here. They want to take some pictures. We're all excited about the Blu-ray release. And um, be safe and be careful. Don't let one, like, get in your pants and then get out. It's Definitely. I don't tragic. know. I'll have to let you know if one escapes. So I'll come and get you down. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. You're welcome. Georgia time. Snakes. Thank you. Indiana Jones.